All right, what's going on guys? Max Mazer. So this is my Q&A series. This is the first one of its kind. They're going to be coming out every Monday. So every single Sunday, leave lots of comments on my video. Every single Monday, I'm going to try and answer like a couple of them. Now, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm, I'm not being funny here. And I know you guys probably think this is really funny. But there's over 700 comments on my last video. Now, I was expecting maybe 3, 350. There's over 700. Just let that sink in. How the fuck am I going to answer 700 questions? Now, I picked out 50 to start off with. If I do more, I do more, but I'm probably only going to answer about 50. I don't want these videos running any longer than about 10 minutes. Now, every single week, I'm going to try and do a funny skit as well. This week's didn't work out, and uh, you're going to see why in a minute. But yeah, every single week, I'm going to do a QA. and a I'm just going to answer stupid questions or just re react to stupid comments. You've got a good chance of getting your comment in, I guess, especially if it's a good one. Now, a lot of the questions are quite similar, so if yours didn't get in, there may well be one very, very similar to yours or just a bit more detailed so no matter what i'm probably answering a good portion of the comments each week and just as a final i'm not going to be re-answering the same question over and over again so a lot of these i answered in my 60k that's why they're not in this video so anyway hitting us off why are you so good with a bow i basically only ever used a bow or like primitive weapons i suck with guns but i'm pretty good with bows crossbows pipes things like that on average for a 20 minute video that you guys see they're mostly between 20 and 25 minute videos it takes me anywhere between three to five Five hours to make and render the video now normally I can render and upload the video in about an hour hour and a half so you can sort of judge from that how long I spend editing sometimes it's more but usually it's around five hours to create a video from scratch and normally just as like a bonus thing here normally it's about two hours of footage that I convert into a 25 minute video so it's basically a highlight reel of what happened in about a two hour period now I'm obviously not gonna let you guys meet me in real life until I do my face reveal now I'm doing my face reveal wait shit that question is later on. I'm going to leave that for now. But I'm more than happy to let you guys meet me. I love traveling. I do go abroad two or three times a year just because I like doing things like traveling. I'm hoping to go to Sweden and uh, that's probably it this year, actually. I might be going to Russia as well. But I might be going to like India next year. Oh, there's just so many countries that I want to visit. But look, we'll discuss this at a later date. I'll be more than happy to go to America and just do like a massive fan meetup day in like whatever city I'm staying in. Yeah, of course I secretly hate Wilson A.S. Shh, don't tell him though. Shh. What was that, Max? Uh, nothing, bro. Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Shh, sucker. I am pleased to hear that. I, I don't really know how to react to things like this. Okay, my dream car. This is the car I've always wanted my entire life. It's about 27 grand to buy brand new. And they only recently brought them out for European roads. And I say recently, it was about a year and a half ago now. I want a Mustang. I My entire life I've wanted a Mustang. It is just a really, really nice looking car. I love how big the bonnet is on it. I just, I love the car. I love the logo. Everything about it is just absolutely amazing to me. I don't know what color or anything I want it in, but I mean, if I ever get close to the day that I'm actually going to buy a Mustang, we'll talk about it. I want at the moment, I drive a Ford Fiesta. I've had it for about a year and a half from brand new. And honestly, I've had no problems with a Ford car. I know some people think that Fords aren't a very good like brand. Brand, but I quite like them. McDonald's or KFC? This is the age old question. KSI preferred KFC? Let's find out what I prefer. <sighs> yep, it's fucking raining, of course it is. Ah, right, I think I'll, uh, I think I'll take the Ford today. Ugh. Right, so, we're gonna go answer the question, what's better? McDonald's or KFC? Now, unfortunately, this is where the skit ends. I'm gonna tell you why. I don't know which of you follow the news in England. Probably not too many of you. I can understand why, because I don't either. So here's why it's over already. I decided to go to KFC first, because I haven't been to a KFC in quite a long time. As I got there, I realized that the KFC had been replaced with a small nail salon. Now, at first, I was actually quite happy, because I haven't had a pedicure in a while. But I was really on a crunch for time, and I had to get this video out. So I thought, you know what? I'm not going to get a pedicure or a manicure. I'm just going to go straight to the other KFC. There are two KFCs in the town that I live in. The other one is a 10-minute drive. So I got there. When I got there, they said, it's going to be a 20-minute wait. At which point, I thought... Nah, that's not fast food. This is fast food. That's not fast food. I have three McDonald's near where I live. Three. All three of them are buzzing with activity, and I know from personal experience that it takes about a minute and a half to get served and walk out of there. So McDonald's wins. 
I, the, it wasn't really much of a challenge because most KFC stores have been shut because they can't fucking get their chicken to their stores because they're fucking idiots and they don't know what a fridge is. And just in case you didn't get that real subtle reference there, the reason that all the KFC stores are shutting in England, something like 650 of their 900 branches were shut overnight, is because they started going with a new delivery service. So a new company was bringing the chicken to the stores, but this new company didn't have a refrigerator in the back of the vans that they were transporting the chicken in. So when they brought the chicken to the shop, it was all gone off because it had been too warm. Now, I don't know what Bright Spark decided to say, yeah, let's go with this cheaper delivery company, but our chicken's all going to be gone off by the time it gets to the store, but he's probably already had enough shit, and the opinion of a guy with 60k subs who lives in East Midlands really doesn't affect him whatsoever. So how much of my growth do I attribute to hard work, or is it just because it comes naturally to me? Now, I definitely think that YouTube is all about hard work. There are definitely people out there where just talking to the camera, the confidence of it just comes really naturally, but I would definitely say that in my situation, it's just because of hard work and seeing what I'm doing wrong and actually working to do better instead of just saying yeah I could be doing better but I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. YouTube's all about being yourself and that is a big part of it as well. If people don't like you for who you are then <laughs> you're not going to grow because everyone thinks you're a cunt. I definitely say hard work but I also think that I'm very lucky and fortunate that you guys share my opinions and think I'm funny. So outside of my subscriber goals because you want more specific I don't want to be the biggest Rust YouTuber. I don't want to be the biggest gaming channel. I want to... This is going to be... This is going to sound dumb. <laughs> I want to present games... Um, you know, like at the E3, you get these big presenters that walk around, you know, spouting stuff into the audience, like talking about the new game, the new big thing. I want to be very involved in the gaming community outside of my YouTube channel, but I want to use my YouTube to get me into that community. And I also want to stay with my YouTube, get inside information, vlogging, stuff like that. But for now... I want to be a good gaming channel that you guys just love watching. Okay, if you had an M249 in Rust and you were able to fit it onto your boat, this would be the coolest thing in the fucking world. Gary, please add it now. Okay, if I could add anything, it would be put an LMG on a boat, all right? I mean, come on, I, who does not want that? All right, did my mama tell me, one day I'm going to grow up big, I'm going to be a king. And my papa told me, it's okay to sing and shit hurts. Don't forget your dreams, because they'll get you through this. Okay, yeah, that's a really, really good part of the song, but I love when E-Double starts rapping. Just If you don't know who E-Double is, just look at some of his songs. They're absolutely amazing. Okay, we haven't even done half the comments yet, and this is already going to be a pretty long video, so let's try and bash through some of these. I'm very glad that the highlight of your day is watching my video. The specs that I had when I first started YouTube, bear in mind, Russell's a very different game back then, and it's a lot less to run but i had a 500 pound computer it was a dell inspiron i could not tell you the model it was a dell inspiron computer it cost 500 pound and it ran rust and i recorded with a webcam microphone <laughs> i had a proper ghetto setup doing drive-bys is there's nothing more fun than doing a drive-by on a boat i've got so much more drive-by footage to show you guys i've even got boat walls against another clan i've got just under 2k hours on rust and i don't think i'm a very good singer but maybe maybe in the future i'll uh, try singing something for you guys face reveal is at 100k if I could change one thing in Rust, it would be the arrow damage to people in, you know, the HQM armor. Not the heavy metal armor, the HQM one. Arrows have a piercing factor, which is why they were so good against knights. Because arrows just pierce straight through armor. So I think that they should do much higher damage than they do to people in, like, Metal Gear. I have a lot of games that I'll be playing. And I'm thinking of doing a double upload on Fridays, where I'm going to still be releasing Rust every single day. Except for Mondays, of course. But every Friday, I'll do a double upload. One in the morning of a game that isn't Rust. And then one a bit more in the evening, probably around 6 or 7 that is rust i'm just gonna convert my channel into roblox and minecraft just to make you guys happy because i know it's what you want i don't know it just it just works <laughs> i guess i just do <laughs> you left a comment and you told me to put you in and i always listen to what people tell me to do always just definitely i would never make a zerg clan because it's just cancer in fact i don't think i'm gonna be playing in a group again for a little while i think the biggest group i'll do is trio but i'm not gonna go above trio for a while rust is fun because of the challenge factor i just i love how difficult it is and how it's different every single time you play it the thing i love most about making youtube videos is reading your comments honestly you may not think about it that much when you're typing max i love your videos or max i look forward to watching your videos at the end of every day but honestly when i'm reading them it makes me so happy it makes me happy that i can have a positive impact on someone else's life someone i've never met but i can make their day happier that's that is amazing there's a lot of things i would change myself from doing but they're way too personal max are you married did you have a girlfriend are you single it's not personal i just you don't have to answer but uh, 
I'm single. I, I'm not married. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not seeing anyone at the moment. I probably play Rust when I am playing Rust. I'll probably play about five or six hours a day for probably four or five days. And I don't get bored because I do limit myself. I stop myself burning out. So I'll only play Rust for about a week and then I won't play Rust again for a week. And I do on and off like that. So when I'm playing Rust, I do play it a lot. If you wanted to buy my entire setup brand new, you're looking at close to £2,000. I would 1v1 Watson, but I'm looking for more of a challenge, you know? My favourite place to eat, I've only ever been to a Five Guys once, there's one in London, I don't know if you know what Five Guys is, but it's absolutely gorgeous food, and they've got every drink under the sun there. The series that I'm currently recording is probably going to have 12 to 15 episodes, so yeah, it's going to go on for a while, don't worry. My favourite thing to do in Rust has got to be just headshotting someone with a bow, <laughs> it's just the most satisfying noise moment ever. Okay, so for this question, I had no idea, so I looked at this, um, there probably are a lot more different rocks out there, but Obsidian does look like the coolest one. No, I'm not going to put your comment in my video, stop asking. I would definitely be up for making a song about Rust. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm not going to make a second channel, but I will be uploading other games onto this one, like I said before. Favourite food, I mean, anyone who subs to me for more than a couple of weeks is going to know, pineapple pizza is just the shit. I don't stream, and I know it's going to sound kind of fake, but I spend so much time editing and working that I just don't have time to stream. Okay, I don't know how much you think I earn, but I could not afford to fly someone out to meet me. <laughs> uh, Jordan Rance asks, wait, wait a minute, that's not the Jordan Rance logo. What Zodiac si What? What the fuck's a Zodiac? Oh, I'm Cancer. <laughs> Okay, this is something I'm going to answer on my 80k subscriber special. I'm going to do a day in the life of Max for my 80k. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Now last, but not least, how was the day you found out E-Double was dead? I only found out E-Double died about two weeks after it happened. Someone left a comment on my video saying rip E-Double and I was like, what? You know, went straight onto Twitter, saw those pictures that he was in hospital and then... And nothing. It was a sad day. He is. He was a very, very talented man, and he did a lot of good. He was a great guy, and I feel like he really, he really, he really showed his passion through his music as well. He really sort of spoke about what he was going through and stuff like that. And he's a great guy, and not enough can be said about it. But yeah, rest in peace, man. You deserve it. But I don't want to end on anything negative. This has been the first ever Q&A, guys. Tell me what you think about it below. Give it a like if you want to see another one, because if this. It doesn't come across that well, then I won't do more. But I hope you really, really enjoyed this episode. I'm hoping that you look forward to more. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have fun, guys. Now you're here, sunlight on the ripples, somehow you